Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I want to discuss the interview on um, Major League Baseball Network. Um, may have been on ESPN, I don't know. But Tom Verjuti's uh, interview with uh, A.J. Hinch. Now, normally I wouldn't even discuss this. I wouldn't get on and say anything about it, except I feel I really have to because there's a lot of people out there that are misinterpreting a lot of what A.J. Hinch said in that interview, okay? First of all, he admitted to the cheating. He admitted that there was cheating that went on under his watch and he took full responsibility for the cheating. Second of all, um, a lot of people out there say that he didn't really say anything. And I disagree with that. Now, there was part of the interview where Tom Verducci asked him um, about whether he thinks the, ninth, the 2017 World Series victory by the Astros was in some way invalidated or tainted by the cheating. Basically, I think that's what he was getting at. Asking him, does he think that the world championship was basically invalidated because they cheated? And A.J. Hinch's answer was that that's a fair question, and I think everybody needs to make their own assessment of that for themselves and that he was confident that as time went on and the Astros continued to, in theory, be a winning team um, of very good players, that, um, you know, that it would be um, shown that they weren't, that the, uh, you know, that the world championship was not invalidated by the cheating. Now, the first thing I want to say is I don't think it was anyway, because if you go back and you look at the 2017 World Series, this cheating only happened at home, and the Astros only had three home games in that series, and they lost one of the home games in that series. So right there, that almost right there says, no, this didn't invalidate the cheating because the Dodgers had four games at home. But the other part of the answer that he gave was that everybody needs to make that assessment for themselves. And I think that that's correct because baseball is a complicated game. It's a complicated game with lots of different outcomes on every single play. And it would take quite a bit of research to figure out in any particular game whether the banging on the trash cans directly led to a win by the Astros in any particular game, but then you have to do it for three different games because they were at home for three different games that series. So, yeah, I mean... Obviously, the guy could not go back. You know, the guy couldn't sit there and tell Tom Verducci, oh, yeah, we, um, that World Series was invalidated because the two wins we got at home happened because if you went back to the third and there was a bang on the trash can and then there was a double that knocked in a run and if you go back to the uh, seventh inning and there was a man on second there was a bang on the trash can and then we knew that there was an off-speed pitch and the next guy hit a double that drove in the run and that those two runs were the deciding run i mean who's going to go back and do do you think aj hinch did that no i doubt he did and who out there has done that who out there has gone back and looked at every one of those games and said, oh yeah, this was a key double right here and this batter knew exactly what was coming right then and that directly led to that win? No. 
There's no way you could say that. There's no way you could know that. Even if you did that research and you went back and you looked at that, you still really can't determine that that was the reason that they won that game. So now the Yes Network comes out and says that he failed to verify that the Houston Astros had buzzers under their jerseys. He failed to verify that because he did not have any knowledge that that was happening. And Major League Baseball did an exhaustive in, um, uh, interview process, going through emails, investigating everything, and they found no evidence of it. So, no, he did not verify it because to his knowledge, there was no um there, there were no players with buzzers under their jerseys. Now, could that have happened? Sure, it could have happened. But he had no knowledge of it. And Major League Baseball also found absolutely no evidence of it. And Major League, if, if that had happened, some players would have said that it happened. Because Major League Baseball sat all the players down and interviewed them and said... We're going to tell you right up front, you are not in any trouble. There will be no penalties levied against you unless we find out that you are lying in this interview to us. And I'm sure that they, the subject came up not only of 2017, but of 2018 and 2019. And I'm sure the subject came up of not only banging on the trash cans, but any other kind of cheating. So, obviously, they've researched this. They didn't find every, any evidence of it, which probably means it didn't actually happen. And um, A.J. Hinch just said that, um, I mean, he basically said that he would like to believe that that didn't happen and that Major League Baseball did an exhaustive uh, um, investigation and didn't find any evidence of it. So yes, yes, network, he did fail to verify it because A, it probably never happened, and B, if it did, he didn't know about it. And this brings up another point that's it's an overriding point above all of this stuff. And that is that if he ever said definitively yes or no, something didn't happen, or yes, it did happen. And then later it was found that it did happen the opposite. You know, if he had said, no, no players had war buzzers under their jerseys, and uh, that, that never happened, that was just a false allegation. If he had said that, and then a year from now, it comes out somehow that some players did wear buzzers under their jerseys, guess what? Now he's a liar because he absolutely verified that no one did it. So no, he's not going to do that. So he said what the best thing that he could say was, is, you know, that um, he would like to think no one did that and that there was an investigation done and they didn't find any evidence of it. So I, yeah, I just want to separate A.J. Hinch from the players. Because the players are the ones that are saying, oh, Major League Baseball did an investigation and, uh, and that's, you know, that's all I've got to say about it. They didn't apologize as A.J. A. Hinch did. They haven't taken ownership of it yet as A.J. Hinch did. And the things that A.J. Hinch could answer, I believe he answered very honestly in that interview. So, in all these channels and these amateurs who come out and say that he didn't say anything, he just it was a big nothing burger. No, it was not a big nothing burger. And you know what? I would be more than happy to have A.J. Hinch managing the White Sox when his year suspension is up. Because it's clear that he didn't go along with it. He didn't want it. He's absolutely correct. He said in the interview. I destroyed two TV or I destroyed two of the monitors to try to convey to the team 
my displeasure with what they were doing. But I should have been more forceful. I should have just sat everyone down and said, knock it off. Don't do this anymore. We don't need to do this. We're better than this and we're not going to do it anymore. He's right. He should have done that. But at least he admitted that, yes, he should have done that and that he didn't. You know, so no, that interview was not a big nothing burger. It was actually a very good interview with, I think, a good man who admitted to the mistakes that were made and that and to the things that he should have done that he didn't do. And the reasons even in some cases why he didn't do it. So I just want to set the record straight. If you haven't seen the video or the, uh, if you haven't seen the interview, I highly recommend you go back and watch it. You can probably bring it up on YouTube. You might be able to watch, uh, you know, um, Major League Baseball Network may re, um, uh, rebroadcast it at several times throughout the next, you know, few weeks. Lord knows I saw it several, I saw it available and rebroadcast several days in a row. So... I suggest you go back and watch it. But if you hear anybody say that he didn't take ownership, that he that the interview was a big nothing burger, that he didn't really tell anyone anything, that's just a bunch of garbage. I'm going to tell you right now. That's a bunch of garbage that you can throw out with the trash because that's not what happened in that interview. <sighs> Thanks. I had to get that off my chest. I mean, that was just something that really bothered me. I mean, it was bad enough to see, um, you know, to see YouTube uh, YouTubers come out and say that. Because, you know, in a lot of cases, and I put myself in that same uh, vein, we're amateurs. We're not like on ESPN. We're not on uh, Sportsnet. So we're amateurs. We're going to make mistakes. But if you watch the interview, I don't know how you could even say that. But then when Yes Network came out and said what they said, that was absolutely, that was the last straw for me. It was ridiculous. So I just want to get that out there on record as saying that. And uh, I just want to remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. And uh, hit the bell so that you know when I've got new videos out. And hit the like, give me a thumbs up. But for right now, that's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.